Welcome back. Now that you have your cake and your table, you're ready to go to the internet and find food and drink for your party. Many of the pictures that you're going to find on the internet are not going to be on white. This picture has a little bit of background, but I used my selection tools to grab most of what I wanted, which was the big picture of Agua Fresca, and I got some glasses. I did bring some of the background, but I'm going to take it anyways. Edit, copy, we're going to come to our new canvas and paste. Don't move it. Don't change its size. The first thing you want to do is deal with how much of the picture are you going to keep. You do have an eraser and you have used it before. But when you erase, you actually delete and damage an image. Command Z. In your layer window, at the base of the layer window, you're going to find a symbol that is a white box with a black circle. This is a layer mask. When you click it, you're going to get a second page. No, it's not really a page. It's a mask. They start off white. When you have a mask and you get a brush, your chips down here are no longer paint. They're no longer black and white. They're reveal and hide. Black is reveal. So I have black here and I have a pretty good size brush and I'm going to start covering this up. Now let's get closer. I'm going to close the layer window for just a second by using the arrows at the top and I'm going to click on the navigator. Let's zoom in and cover. It looks like I'm erasing. And just like with an eraser, I want to use the big brush where the big brush is appropriate. And then I'm going to drop down to a smaller brush because I can't do everything with a big brush. I got a lot. Alright, let's shrink it down. Now, okay, wait. Before I shrink it down, let's say I make a mistake and I take out something I don't want. I'm going to flip my chips and blow it right back in because I'm not actually erasing. I'm covering. Actually, I don't like this back here. I'm going to cover that. Oh, that's the plate. <laughs> All right, well, let's get a little closer. Let's get a little smaller. Because a smaller brush can get into smaller areas. The biggest problem is that people try to use a great big brush on a little tiny area. And of course they take out more than they need to. So select your tool for its specific job. Photoshop has lots and lots of tools, so you can be very, very specific. Here in my layer window, I can actually see the little black shadow. These two things go together now, so command minus. I'll select my move tool. I'm going to pick them both up and move them. And we're going to situate them. Let's see here, navigator. Give me a little zoom out. Um, I think they're a little big. So edit, transform, scale. You have two ways to scale. You could grab it from the corner and shrink it down. Or you appear at the top, you can use your W and your H. If you hold your mouse right under it, you'll get a finger that allows you to slide. You want to use the check mark on the option bar to tell the computer you're done. 